Mailbag time. Let's see what we've got this time. Could be interesting. It's a Finucci USB tester. Now this was not sponsored, I actually purchased this. I could have got hold of them and actually said, hey, do you want to sponsor a video and send me a thing? But these things have been featured everywhere. You've probably seen them already, which is how I found out about them. So it's just a nice USB tester. It does fast charging testings of that. It's got USB-A, USB-C on it. Some information on the back there for specs. It's the FNB58. It looked like a really nice tester. So the ones I've got already are not very really good quality ones. You know, there's cheap things from China. You know, not particularly good quality ones. These are, you know, really basic things. I mean, they work, but you can't really trust them that much. And just don't really instill confidence. That's the word I'm looking for. Whereas this, looks like it's much better. Let's open it up. And if Finercy do decide to see this video at some point and discover that I've featured their product, maybe get in touch and consider sponsorships, because I'd certainly be interested because you make lots of stuff. So you've got USB Type C that side, micro USB, ins and out there. Power delivery on and off, which is the little slide switch. USB A there. Got some controls here. We'll joystick control thing, a button. There's another USB port here for USB C, um, for USB micro. That allows you to do some PC monitoring as well. So you actually monitor this thing on PC with some software, I believe. This has got Bluetooth. So you can also use it on your phone and, and compare it there. So it's pretty sophisticated compared to the other things I've got. I'm not going to power it up now. I'll play that later on once I've had a chance. Yeah, should be good. This packaging really instills a lot of confidence. All right. It's a OBD2 a troubleshooting tool. So you've got this plug, plug goes into your car. You've got this plugs into a computer. There's a burnt DVD disc with lots of dirty fingerprints on it. That's nice. I did see lots of bad feedback on this particular seller about the issues with the disc having bad discs on it. This one looks kind of okay. This, you can see the center of the disc is actually where the data is. So it's probably right. This needs a bit of a clean up. But uh, yes, I did see lots of feedback where they hadn't sent their things very well, badly packaged, as was my case. And this even arrived broken and big you know, chunks out of it. Like that, so it looks like I've been slightly luckier. But this is for Toyotas, so you can actually plug this into a Toyota. You've got some adapters to go with it as well. Different ones to plug in. Different kind of pinouts. I've got the full set, so I didn't quite know what I was going to need. So, uh, yeah, I'll play with it later on. But like I said, it plugged into a computer, so a bit more involved. I mean, it's a fairly cheap way of doing it compared to buying a tablet like an OBD2 scanner tablet thing or you know. I actually do have some other ODP stuff but um, they're quite old and not really wonderful. Not great quality things. I mean kind of work but I didn't really do everything it's supposed to do and crashed occasionally that sort of stuff which wasn't really great. So I thought I'd get one of these PC versions and have a look at that. Maybe good, maybe rubbish. It wasn't expensive so it's worth a shot. Leave a link down below for these things though. So you want to see more detail anything I've shown here? So these are some HDMI cables, just a few different ones, straight and angle, angle angle, and angle to straight, a different one, different angle. I got these for the web server running the bus, for running events, because I want to tie the wiring up, because I've got this really long HDMI cable right now, and it's just excessively long, it doesn't need to be that big. I actually want to try and make it all more compact and just simple to use, and without messing around with so many wires. So I've got a few different ones, so I could choose which one fits this application best. Next thing, recycle packaging. Excellent. Not bubble wrap. That's a nice thing. So this is from Element 14. Oh, dropped it on the floor now. It's gone. Oh, there we go. Now nah, they ruined it with a bubble wrap around those. It's not too bad though. What do we have? We've got some capacitors. Some of the gold, please. One. <laughs> I've been buying a whole bunch of capacitors recently because I've realised I didn't actually have much stock in the way of film caps. I realised I've been a bit neglectful there. The Y2X1 class, so it's a wire class cap, 4700 picofarad, 300 volt AC. 
that size ones. So this one here is the next two class. Value is on the top there somewhere, I can't quite read it. 47. You've got this other one here, which is another X class cat, another X2. That's a 22. And you've got these ones here. Of course, I could have looked at the packaging, would have told me, wouldn't it? These are 4,700 picofarad as well. So these other ones here, 4,700 picofarad, and these are Y2 class as well, so Y class caps. 300 volts. Again, stocking up because I realise I don't have money. Of course, getting more capacitors, which I don't currently hold in stock, means I'm going to have another problem. I need to store these things somewhere. Hmm. Check out next week's video. I'm sure I'll have something in that to cover that problem. And the last thing for today, looks like it's pretty well packaged. I'm going to try and do this carefully if I can. This arrived really quickly, this is what I think it is. I'm going to use a real knife for this, I think. So I'll slice it carefully. This knife's been used a bit recently for other things. So it's a bit messy. So this didn't actually cost me anything apart from postage. A bit of story behind this thing. So this was a repair attempt by someone else, and they actually contacted me asking if I wanted this computer for, for free. They tried to repair it, and they couldn't. They had some kind of issue with it, and they, for whatever reason, they, their repair was unsuccessful. And um, well, it's got a charging thing as well. It's even better. Yeah, so they sent it to me free. And what, this is what happened? So they contacted the person that made the repair module for this thing, which is Harold. CMI Zapper, GPU killer, whatever it is, I can't remember now. I'll chuck a link down below maybe. And he makes a module for these 2011 MacBook Pros, which have a known issue with GPU failures, right? It's a really common problem in these particular units. This particular unit has a GPU failure, and so the person who sent this to me had tried to do the installation of that GPU killer board. I've done videos on that installation, I've actually shown it on my channel. So he tried to do it, he had a bad problem with it, he couldn't get it working. And so he's, he's just given up on it and, give, and he actually got hold of Harold and said, do you want the computer? He's actually going to send it to him overseas and give it to him. And Harold actually pointed him in my direction and said, give it to this guy. Yeah, so we got managed to get in touch. I was a bit slack about replying in the email, I replied my, weeks later. Because I, I kind of got sidetracked and forgot about it. Luckily I contacted him just in time, just about to dispose of it. And so, yep, I said, look, I'm happy to pay postage, obviously. And even if it's a completely dead computer, I'm still happy to pay post. Could be good for parts, even, all right? Even if it's completely dead and irreparable, that's fine. It's still good. Got some parts on that, which would be handy. And you can come with a charger. So the guy sent me this, it's called Steve. So, hello, Steve, if you're watching. And I'll be doing a video on this thing, having a look at it, assessing it, and with a bit of luck, resurrecting it. We'll see how we go with that. Nice. But original box, everything. Power cable, charger. Brilliant. So that'll be a future video too. So watch out for that. Thanks a lot, Steve. So check out the other videos down below for anything else you want to watch. Subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed. Patreon support link over there if you want to donate to the channel, help me to buy things, a mailbag or bits of test equipment to repair. Catch you later.